Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Iconoclast. Last episode, we did, um... Well, we started to reclaim our tower, I think. I'm sorry, we started to... We started the process of claiming the rockets, and today we're just gonna go and continue. Um... Hmm. Big puzzle room. Big puzzle room with big puzzle. I have to figure out big puzzle. Um... Huh. Can I go over here? <laughs> yes, indeed. Let me go and shoot that thing. Wait, let's get out of the way, actually. Okay, so there's a key over there, and there's also... That thing over there, which does... Something? Question mark? I might need to come back here later on. Or not. Actually, yes. Sure. Um... Let's see, because I need to... Are, like, is this gonna be permanent, these gears? Yes. The gears are permanent, that's nice. Whoopsie. Okay. Uh, let me go down here also, actually. What can I find over here? Another key. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fact that that worked was amazing. Now this is just gonna, yep. Yeah. It's just going to bring me back over here. No props. Oh, the problem, however, is the fact that this room resets. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. There we go. Spin that wrench, baby! Uh... Now we're gonna have to start building a tower with these blocks. Not really. Wow. That's a little bit weak. There we go. Just according to plan. There we go. Um. Well, I guess I'll just go and throw them over here. And then I'll just go and do a little bit of a switcheroo again. Let me first go and move you over there, buddy. Uh, you know what? Sure. There we go. Okay, um... I'm gonna need another block. Actually, no, I can just go this way. And make my way around like that. Can I please climb upwards? Thank you. And I need to run all the way to the left. Very slowly, but I guess I could say sure, surely. <laughs> like, and now I can open up the door over here. Okay, that's nice. For some kind of reason, I was scared that I have to redo the puzzle later on, but that is not necessary. You just wow. So you basically just have to go over here to get to open that thing up, and that's it. And then you have to go this way. You gonna shoot that thing? Uh... Ah, okay. Ah, yes, I see now. So that finally opens that up. Okay, um... Let me go and move the key. Forwards! Anything to the left? No. There we go. Anything over the left of here? Nope. Give me my loot! More Technium. More for the 100%. Would you look at that? I actually complete this area now. 
by collecting that. That's very nice. <laughs> For some kind of reason, I thought I would be safe over there, but nope. That was... <laughs> that was pretty dang wrong. Uh... Okay. Well, I wanted to jump off, but I suppose that that was not a thing that I was allowed to do. Uh... Oh, I see. I'm sorry, for some kind of reason I'm getting really confused. Uh, oh, I still need to go and do something. Okay. That's what I was wondering, because I was like, hmm. There was something at the beginning of this room, right? Yeah, over there. Okay. Uh, let me go and... Charge up again. There we go. I've done it, my boys! And maybe potentially girls. God damn it. Right, can I please? <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's the mighty mechanic. How did you get in? I'm sorry to say it, but we were locked in here. The one concern finally found out our hidden intent to develop and share new and non-ivory ways to power things for people. If we're rounded up in here, our demise is likely in order. We had a good run with, though, right? Had some laughs, did some poses. But seriously, get us out, please. We'll feed my cats if I die. Where did you enter this room from? Hey, she took my key to the chem chemical ventilation. Oh no. A police dropping, get us out. No, no. Can I please do that? Because I think if I push these things in... Oh no, these things will just... There we go, got him. We got him, boys! Or her. What is happening over here? Oh, wow. Just knocking him out. What is that little ghost thing? Come on, come on, come on. I know you're in there. Haha. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Ah, fuck. What, what, what hit me? Doesn't matter. You're dead. <laughs> I guess we're still dying. <laughs> Our biggest, hugest tanks. I suppose you had to fire, uh, fire your knockout shots uh, uh, through us a few times, but you still saved us. We need the, we need the, uh, you need the password disk to the rocket launch pad. All the gun taters are trying to go there, though. But then, what you do is what makes uh, things progress. So I will play my role in your quest. You can do it. Perseverance will always get you to the end. We'll get the heck out of here now. We get ourselves the pass card. Which means that we can venture forth. Through this magnificent place. Robin, down here. Uh -huh. I see. 
Aha, there you are. I think I looked in all the other labs, and I didn't really see anyone except some soldiers. I'm sorry, but we need that password to make a launch possible. What? You got it? Really? I guess I did say we'd both be searching. I just expected to be the one to find it. I am a worthless jerk, honestly. Let's just uh, stop that, dude. Sorry, my thoughts have been a bit foggy lately. But you're right. So, we're set. We'll reach the path to where we can enter the rocket through this door here. You need some white tickets to get this open. It's a long story. I have some, so no worries there. Let us just pray Mina and Elro make it to the rocket launch room. And then we have Elro, who is very slow and stabs people with his broken sword. You know what I also really like about this game? The fact that every single character makes different footst footstep sounds. And the game has saved, so I have a tiny feeling that I'm supposed to do something. Can I duck? Yes, I can. Because I remember having to fight something around here, right? Oh, I can't stab these things. <laughs> I cannot stab turrets. Come on, game. Can I launch these things backwards? Alright. Ow. Are you kidding me, game? Yeah, I need to do that. Ow. Oh, come on. Ugh. There we go. Jeez. It's kind of weird because when I press the button, I have to wait for a moment until he stabs, so... That makes it very weird. And I'm at half health. But I guess the game saves, so who cares. This should be bloody fine. <laughs> Hello, buddy. <laughs> Stab. Today, I stabbed a man with my stubby broken sword. And walked through these halls in a very slow way. Because I lost my arm. And a lot of other things. These hallways are really long. <laughs> they make you think, you know. About the situation we're in. I sense your weakness, soldier. A weak man only stands by his perceived morals until the day he has to face them himself. A man's strength is in knowing his station and defending that with his blood and sweat. You are the wall keeping the past from the future, yet you choose to leave the door open. That is your power. You can control your fate. The world is, a small, uh, is small next to a man's raw determination. Your decision to defy your purpose will lead to the world's collapse, our futures being erased. The babies falling from the bosoms of their decaying mothers. Only the weak fear, fear death. Death is your purpose. For the greater good. The fates are set. Prove your devotion. Hello, friends. The purpose is to protect the frail. Ow. Get a nice to the harrowing darkness. Stab. <laughs> Without struggle, there's no development. We need our battles to evolve. Stab. Animals develop antlers, jo uh, horns, quills, jaws. They fight so they can further the species. I'm. I think I'm supposed to knock that thing back. Oh well, I'm gonna go in for a stab anyway. We are mere animals, all of us. Uh, 
with the three though, it's the same mistakes or something, I don't know, I wasn't... I was paying attention to not getting here. Oh, he's actually pointing out what he's gonna do. There's no place for us to be frivolous. We hold the command, we are the leaders. Stab. I'm gonna die though. Ah, uh, maybe appropriate, but it's already great and good. May resist, but they merely do not comprehend. Stab. They do not know their place in the world. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You're gonna kill me at this rate. <laughs> yeah. Perished. Yeah, that was nasty. Well, it's, it's especially because some of those daggers need to be hit back. And yeah, you've seen me struggle with this freaking stubby little dagger. <laughs> How do I even... Stab. This has to be the most annoying battle in the game right here. I think. I do like it though, it's cool. But... It is a little bit annoying to deal with. Uh. Like the fact that he just stands like he just stands there like a boss taking these dagger hits. Ow. Fucking die. <laughs> Stopping in mid text. I swear to God. I cannot deal with that attack. There we go. Nice, ah, got him back, finally. <laughs> finally managed to hit one of his daggers. I missed. <laughs> there we go. One more stab. I missed. No, you piece of garbage. Don't you dare kill me now. Also, there's wind. Come on, really? Uh. Okay. Let me do this, please. Stab! <laughs> We are unwavering. You just refuse to see. <laughs> Elro has gone absolutely mad. Which I couldn't really blame him for, though. <sighs> We're almost there, Robin. This is it. The last chance. I'm the only true link to him remaining. Intercepting him is the only choice. All other choices are death. With you at my side, we can do this. Nothing but wayward soldiers remain in our way now. Let's do this. Together. We will. In the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I was playing Iconoclast. The next episode, we're going to go and take the rocket to the moon. Goodbye.